Lee County once again speaking out about the shortage of school bus drivers. A lot of them telling Lee County School Board members they're now having to find other ways to get their kids to school on time. Fox 4's Keenan Scott spoke with Lee County School District official about what's being done to recruit more bus drivers and retain the ones who are already working. Rob Spicker with Lee County School says a shortage of school bus drivers is nothing new and has been going on since the start of the pandemic. We recognized a year ago, more than a year ago, there was going to be a potential short drive, shortage of drivers this time this year. So we started back in January a year ago, strategizing, advertising, trying to build up the ranks of bus drivers. For Cape Coral City Councilwoman Jennifer Nelson, that issue became all too real when her daughter didn't get dropped off at her bus stop until nearly 8 p.m. And about... 742, I think, is when she finally got to her stop. Um, and of course, I was just flabbergasted, alarmed, had no idea what a real issue this was. That's when she knew that enough was enough. This is a real problem and a real concern. And, you know, somebody needs to, to think of an innovative way to fix the issue. But Spicker says the solutions aren't all black and white. It's just been an ongoing situation where until we can get a full force of bus drivers, we're going to have late buses. Nelson says that providing more incentives for drivers should be at the top of the list. In terms of school buses, you know, my suggestion again would be somehow to incentivize the drivers that we do have so that they stick around and they're available to hopefully train new drivers as they come on um, so that we can get you know, these routes build again with with buses on Tuesday night. Some of those parents brought their concerns to the school board. They need to be given a raise to compensate them in a way that helps them have an economic difference in their lives. Our child spent two hours lost the other day because his bus didn't show up and come to 3 p.m. to the school's phone. We called the school at 3 p.m. to know that it went out right to voicemail. We were freaking out. Spicker says in the meantime, parents either need to be patient or consider different ways of getting their child to school. What our parents should know is that a bus will come. It just might be extremely late. Write these individuals, let them know of your concerns and let them know that it isn't acceptable and that we have to develop a solution. In Lee County, Keenan Scott, Fox 4. Of course, if you're considering becoming a school bus driver, the district wants to hear from you. You can apply online through the Lee County Schools website, and we've got that link for you on our website right now. You can fill out the application when you go to fox4now.com.